Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here, weatherman. Plus, good morning to you. Now, I'm going to give you an update on this storm because it's still bringing not only major snowfall and blizzards, widespread damage and winds, also still big chances for tornadoes. Plus, the PTC-15 in the tropics is predicted to be at least a tropical storm, probably be a hurricane for a minute, but then weakening down towards landfall, and it will be Lisa. Our National Hurricane Center still has tropical storm watches out for Jamaica as well as the Cayman Islands. I'm showing very low winds and very little bit of rainfall for y'all. And they show it will become a hurricane as it goes towards Belize and then quickly downgrade to a, a tropical depression. So make sure you share this information, let everybody know what the potential impacts can be because National Hurricane Center is showing you got maybe a 10% chance of hurricane force winds and maybe a bigger chance of getting at least 50 miles per hour winds. They do give it all the way up to a 30% chance all the way covering Belize with a chance of 50 miles per hour winds and getting a little bit higher where you get a little bit of 40% chance of 50 miles per hour winds. But it covers all the way into Central America, Guatemala, Yucatan, with at least a 10% chance of 50 miles per hour winds. Now, tropical storm winds, this is at least winds of 34 miles per hour you can see how much of an area this storm is going to cover so you do have a big chance not only for belize for mexico guatemala a big chance for tropical storm force winds and a small chance of hurricane force winds and i do have other impacts for y'all in the tropics as well remember all the links are in the description for you to use now the severe weather event is still the same according to national weather service Thursday going into Friday and Friday going into Saturday covering the same area. Nothing has changed so far. And this is the whole setup. So as we're getting that upper level low moving across the southeast, they are getting tropical storm, potentially Hurricane Lisa for a minute towards the Central America while this swings around this high pressure and still revolves around the southeast while we get this strong storm. And it is a huge storm bring a lot of damage and winds and chances for tornadoes. Now this upper level low is putting all the precipitation towards the Bahamas. It's not gonna be over Florida. There's gonna be a lot of dry air, but it will be rainfall for the Bahamas. As this comes all the way up to the upper Midwest, strong system bringing strong winds the whole way through. And you can see how strong this system is gonna be for the US. It is gonna get a deep low and it is gonna strengthen as it goes to the upper Midwest gaining in intensity even the winds has picked up as it goes towards canada plus for the tropics because ptc 15 tropical storm lisa is predicted by national hurricane center to be a tropical storm later on today it is starting to strengthen but euro and other models is showing that this will weaken towards landfall and not be a hurricane now all of our sea surface temperatures in the Caribbean is warm enough to produce and support a tropical system. But you can see according to the Euro that it has so much dry air around it that it don't have time to strengthen before landfall. And Euro is a very accurate model. Very rarely is GFS correct over Euro. Now oddly enough, GFS is the one that National Hurricane Center is seeing that's becoming a hurricane. It is almost the only model that is seeing this. So I think there will be a downgrade on this system. I don't see it staying a hurricane for too long. But it does show sometime from Wednesday afternoon into Thursday is when the impacts is going to begin for this system for Central America. All the way from Belize, Guatemala, and Mexico. Matter of fact, the update this morning with the GFS, the only model that saw a hurricane shows the great weakening that Euro is seeing. So maybe a chance for a tropical depression and maybe even get to a tropical storm status, but it's showing a lot of weakening because of all the dry air that is in your atmosphere. So I think National Hurricane Center will downgrade this to where it won't become a hurricane. It will be maybe a tropical depression, a tropical storm. It just has too much dry air around it and not enough time to form. Even the NASA satellite, the GOES satellite, does show that it will be something weak, just like the Euro is showing as it comes towards landfall. It will still bring a lot of rainfall, so you still got to watch out for mudslides and all this flash flooding that could be very devastating towards y'all region. That's one part that really affects y'all. But all these models are showing that this will be something weak. I think National Hurricane Center 
we'll downgrade this. Because you can see according to National Hurricane Center, it's still gonna be a Cat 1 hurricane right before landfall, but Euro is showing this thing is gonna be very weak. Even the updates on these models, runs that come out, these deterministics, are agreeing with the Euro, this will be something weak. This should be downgraded by National Hurricane Center. You also can see according to the wind gusts, Jamaica maybe get some high 30 miles per hour wind gusts on the south side, and GFS is showing that it will do a little bit of strengthening before landfall, and you could get 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts for Belize. The 60 is right on the edge, it could happen as well, but I think these will slowly start downgrading. This was a lot more, it was 60 and 70. So it has downgraded, these links aren't in the description, so you can zoom into your area and see what your potential impacts will be. And it could bring anywhere from one to two inches for eastern side of Jamaica, also an inch and a half towards the Cayman Islands. Euro is showing about the same thing for Jamaica and the Caymans, but it's different amounts for impacts. So as you look with the GFS, which show the strongest potential so far, it could be bringing over six inches of rainfall to a lot of y'all in Belize. Euro is showing it's not gonna be that much, but it's mostly gonna be Northern Belize that gets all the rainfall. Just keep in mind, National Hurricane Center is seeing the intensity that GFS saw, and the update on GFS is a lot of weakening. And I did wait for eight o'clock update, and they still have it as a potential hurricane towards landfall. So I will keep you updated, but everything I'm seeing in all the other data is that this will be weakening and downgrading. Now this is all the way until next week when it's supposed to be a tropical storm going to a hurricane by Wednesday morning. So it's still days away. I will keep you updated. I do still believe that this dry air will get involved and this will weaken. But it is still bringing a good bit of precipitation that will turn into snowfall. But as you go Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're still getting all that rainfall from the system. And it's showing a wide area of two to four inches of rainfall coming, especially for Oklahoma, Kansas, and portions of Iowa. And the winds are still widespread damaging winds. And it's starting on Tuesday. So as it comes in for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and leaving out by Saturday, bringing a lot of damage and winds, even for Canada. And you can see the area is covering. It's just unbelievable how much of an area this is going to be covering with all of these winds. So whether you're getting snow, whether you're getting rain, whether you're getting tornadoes, everybody needs to be on the lookout for all these winds. This will cause a lot of power outages. And it's getting up to 60 widespread for the Great Lakes. That's starting to update to more and more. GFS shows a little bit further to the east. But look at all these high winds for the Great Lakes. A lot of dangerous times. And a lot of snowfall as well. So as you come in from Tuesday all the way till Thursday, let's just keep it just the first five days because after that, usually changes. A lot of major snowfall coming, especially to higher elevations for Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, California, a lot of heavy snowfall is coming down. And maybe some more coming on that next system, making it look really dramatic. But this is all the way up towards eight to 10 days. This always changes. Don't believe that you're gonna get over five feet of snowfall. This always changes. But it makes for a good clickbait cover, but I'm not doing it. But it will create all this lift, all this cape, showing up for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm still showing a lot of strong potentials for a lot of chances for tornadoes. This will be a serious tornado event as well as a big damaging wind event. And you can see the upper level winds as you go Wednesday into Thursday. But once you go Friday into Saturday, that's where the strong winds are coming. Good chances for strong shear on these thunderstorms and get a lot of tornadoes. Now the wind shear is getting all the way up to over 80 knot winds. This will definitely not only bring damage and winds all the way up towards the Great Lakes by Sunday and going to Canada by Monday. This is bringing a lot of damage and winds after you deal with this tornado threat. So this will be a big event. But I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I just want to give you some quick updates on what the impacts were so you know what to expect. And I'm still showing the same thing. Matter of fact, a little bit stronger. So God bless all of you today. Hope you have a very great Monday out there where you're going to school, going to work. Hope you have the best day possible.
Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. That's the best part. All generations. It's not just one type of people. It's not just one time of people. This is for everyone. Thank you so much for your time today. I do appreciate every single one of you. Help share this information to others, knowing what's going on with the surrounding system, because it is going to be some strong winds at the least. All glory. <laughs> Does go to Yahweh, our Father in heaven, our God. And may he keep all of you safe every day of your life. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great Monday, everybody.